Hey, how's it going everybody? We are in the X-Plane 11.50 Vulcan. Wanted to do a test to see what the frames were on the default New York City compared to the uh, payware add-on for, I believe it's called New York XP. Um, and I'm actually doing this for someone, uh, I'm sure you guys uh, might know him. He's the developer of uh, Fly AGI or Fly AG. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how he wants it said. I'm thinking Fly AGI, so I'll stick with that for now. It's this tweak over here. It's a great plugin. Uh, I, was, I was originally looking for a plugin because you know how X Plane has kind of that fogginess all the time. And when I was looking for a plugin, I actually found this through a website, somebody talking about it. And uh, this plugin is great. You can make a lot of changes, a lot, a lot of changes on here right from this plugin. Also, it incorporates. Uh, XP realistic, which I love because that way I could just do everything right from, from right here. Anyway, um, if you guys want, I'll leave a link. So, uh, first thing we're going to do over here is get rid of this. There we go. We're going to start this up. We are just going to take off, fly about 1,700 feet, and uh, we are going to go fly over New York City. Now, this is the Aerial Basp uh, Pipistrel Panthera. All right, uh, of course, we're looking at um, 31 frames per second right now. It was 35, and I'm sure all this stuff is going to start taking away. Now, let me show you my settings over here. I have uh, everything to maximum. Now, I tested, I tested this before. Now, we're looking at between 30 and 31 frames per second. Now, I had this down to um, high, okay? Everything else was the same. And I was looking between 35 and 36. Well, so we're, we're, we're talking about maybe four or five frames using maximum. Let's get this out of here. Flaps down. Now, New York City is right over here. So we are just going to go over there quickly. Put this here. Get all this set up. Yes, we are looking at 120. Okay, here we go. Although I didn't send any trim, so this should be fun. And here we go. Feels up. And I don't know why I keep doing that. We are looking at uh, 29 frames per second. As I said, I usually don't fly this on maximum. I just wanted to check it out. So what I was being told is that the right-hand side of the sliders is more for processing CPU, and the left-hand side of the sliders is for GPU. Now I'm using uh, a 1080 Ti. Uh, not over, uh, not overclocked. It's a, I haven't overclocked or done anything with the 1080T. I sold stock. Um, but I also have an i7 8700K overclocked to 4.7. We're looking at 35 frames per second on maximum. We're coming up to New York right now. What we'll do is we will make it so that the city is on our left hand side. Let me slow this down a little bit. Let's see, 32 frames per second. I would like to put my anti-aliasing a little higher, but I don't know what that's going to do. Um, I just ordered a 2080 Ti. Maybe when I get that in and I install it, I'll try that out. Uh, I was noticing the other day, I made a video over here, I had some really bad shimmers here. And I think it had something to do with the clouds. Whenever I would move, you would see that all over here, and it was driving me crazy. All right, so here we go. We are looking at 32 frames per second. 32, 33 frames per second here. Here's a city right now. What we'll do is let's go to a nice outside view. I'm just trying to get you the frames that you would see 
um, while you're in a plane. So let's uh, let's come outside and we are looking at same 32, 33 frames per second. I tell you, they, they did a phenomenal job with this Vulcan. I, I've been waiting for this for about three years since it was announced. Uh, you know, after a while, I kind of gave up. But I'm so happy that uh, this beta is out right now. And, it's, and hopefully, knock on wood, it's only going to get better. All right, so we're looking at uh, 32, 33 frames per second. Pretty stable. Now, the funny thing is, is that let me see let's let's try this out right now if uh the if the sim crashes through the wonderful magic of editing you won't get to uh have to sit there and, and have a uh, you know wait for me to restart everything so let's try this out let's go over to the settings we'll put this down to high and let's try this out cross your fingers and here we go and as you can see on high we're looking at between 45 and 46 so we had it between 32 and 33 or 31 and 32 we're missing about i don't know like 10 frames eight frames something like that i have no issues with uh with with high i think it looks good i don't have any uh problems with it works out for me come back around over here I mean I'd rather have my eight frames back to be honest <laughs> I I like the fluidity um, the more frames you have the more realistic the plane moves or, or you know as and, I, and it was a test that I did once before when um, I used the uh, the default Cessna and I went through some clouds and as you were passing through the clouds they actually moved and passed the wing like a normal plane and and it was it was just phenomenal to see something like that so i'm always striving to get the most amount of frames that i could possibly get like i said this works for me i don't have any issues with uh with the detail of the amount of buildings that are here i can do this this is doable for me but what we're going to do now is we are going to install the x-plane um new york city Okay, but let me see if I can, uh, yeah, it's called DD New York City XP. And um, as soon as I install that, we will be back up in the air. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, and I have installed the Payware New York City, which is right over there. To be honest, I don't know what it looks like. So I'm actually, uh, I actually can't wait to see. Anyway, we are looking at 36, 37 frames per second. As I said before, these are my settings. I usually keep it on high. We'll see. Maybe I'm thinking about maybe getting a 9900. Not too sure, you know, if that's if that'll allow me to get up to that, you know, maximum number right there. But for right now, this is this is fine for me. I don't have any issues with this. But any and, and anyway, we have um, 36 frames per second. So let's get out of here. Try this again. You know, and for some reason I can always forget the trim. That's right, we got this. Ah, too hard on the yoke. Oh. Get those wheels up. Let's just get this on here. And we are gonna head towards New York. So, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I see a bunch of buildings already. Over here. Is this over? Gotta get better controls for this. And let's actually go. Let's see, let's see about 140.
we are looking at 43 frames per second now you can look at the skies you know uh, this is default okay these are default clouds default weather uh, as I said before, I'm waiting for Active Sky to uh, update their software. We'll see where that goes. But we're talking 43 right now, 42, 43 frames per second. No pop out. You know, there's, nothing's popping in. I, I hate this, though. I, it's been like that forever, though. Uh, there's no stuttering that I can see. And look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, and in the wrong one. It's 30. 35 let's go back to heading look at that that looks uh looks really nice i'm already starting to see it it doesn't look like there's a there's a frame hit at all wow i'm actually pretty damn impressed i cannot wait to see what the 2080 will do got some nice colors one thing I do want to see is let's see actually let's uh come out here look at that is that the Staten Island Ferry <laughs> that's great there's a uh, Statue of Liberty look at that 44 45 frames per second let's get back into the plane oh that is gorgeous Forty-one, forty-two. Oh, I like it. Nice color to it. Uh, a little strange here. Is that supposed to be... I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. <laughs> is that the reflection of the sky? Is that what that is? Look at that. Not bad at all. That is really, really nice. Let's go outside. Actually, you know what? Let's make a quick turn over here. Looking at 47, 48 frames per second. Let's get into the plane. 44. I, I am, <laughs> I'm very, very impressed. I mean, this is really, really good. I'm outside. I actually, uh, I'm coming over here because I have a friend at work. With my first video, was telling me I don't see his house. I think this is the area over here. <laughs> Are you happy, Rick? <laughs> okay, let's get back in there. But uh, I'll be honest, uh, look at this, 44 frames per second. Now, I'm willing to change the graphics to maximum, but I'm just afraid that it's going to uh, crash. But we have, we kind of have a number here. We go, look, 43, 44. So there's basically no impact in frame when it comes to uh, New York, especially for this add-on. In, uh, in the description, I'm going to leave a link for this add-on. Uh, DD, I think it's called. I can't pronounce his name right now. But um, he makes some really, really good stuff. I have some of his freeware stuff and... Uh, it's some really phenomenal work that he does. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very impressed. I could see the memes now. He's impressed. He's impressed. <laughs> okay, so we know 44, 40, between 44 and 46. Okay, now let's come over here. Let's bring this over to uh, maximum. All right, here we go. 
And of course, I'm not going to make you wait through this whole loading scene. So through the magic of editing, three, two, one. And here we go. Woo. Let's see. Let it stabilize. So we went from 41 to 43 to about 37, 38. So we're looking at 37, 38 right now. 35, just dip. Let's get back over there again. 34, 35. Absolutely doable. Absolutely doable. I mean, it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. As you can tell, I'm very, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. Look at that. Is that the Verizon building? <laughs> oh, you can't beat that. I, I mean, this is great. This is going to be uh, really nice. So let's, you know what? Let's come over here. So this is under maximum or the highest setting for um, the world. I wonder with, uh, what Central Park looks like. I think these are the buildings that he was talking about. Let's see. These right here. Oh, that is just beautiful. 33. We're looking at 33 right now. Oh my god, that is that is really, really nice. You got traffic, buildings, everything. Now that looks like New York City. And that looks like Central Park. Wow. That is really, really nice. So we're looking at between 33 and 35 compared to 41 and 45, or 41 and 44. Look at that, Central Park. Wow, that is really, really nice. It doesn't look like there's much of a difference between being on the outside. Well, maybe there is. Okay, so we're looking at 36 right now, but let's go back inside. 38, 34. So you're looking at like 30... It was between 41 and uh, 42 and 44. Oh, here's now it's going on to 31, 29. All in all, whether you select the um, limit on the world or just high, it, it just it works out well. It's very very smooth. And just remember, this is a beta, so I'm sure they're going to have some more fixes, things that are, are going to be, uh, you know, added or subtracted, whatever the case. But for a beta, this is kick-ass. As I said before, though, I will stick with the high setting. I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, Fly AGI, I hope this answers your question. And I hope that I was able to help you out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like or leave a dislike, whichever. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.